Synthetic stocks vary in composition and ability to accept spray-on finishes. Alumahide 2 works best on fiberglass stocks and requires the removal of any substance used as mold release. If the stock or forend has been painted previously, remove all paint. If you don't know what type of finish is on any surface, it is best to remove it and not take chances. You can do this in a number of ways, but start with a chemical stripper and then grit blast the surface with reduced air pressure to avoid excessive pitting of the surface. If you are unable to use a chemical stripper, then you will need to remove the paint by grit blasting, again with reduced air pressure because you want to remove the paint and not pit the surface excessively. After the preparation process, you can use Alumahide 2 to coat the surface or you can prep it with spray grit and use Alumahide 2 as an overcoat or leave it with the spray grit as the final or finished coat. Spray grit tends to have a semi-gloss finish unless sprayed onto a very warm surface, but it readily accepts Alumahide 2 as an overcoat. Remember that some propellants and solvents are flammable and can ignite with any ignition source. Plastic furniture may or may not accept finishes, and in most cases, Alumahide 2 is the best spray coating to use and will give the best service life. In addition, Alumahide 2 has a wide selection of colors that closely match other finish types. The makeup of plastic prevents proper adhesion of most other types of finishes and is not compatible with bake-on finishes because the plastics have a low melting point. Polymer and injection molded plastics require the most attention and preparation. The composition of some trigger guards, sights, and even receivers prevent proper adhesion of most finishes. Generally, you will need to start by degreasing the surface with TCE and use grit blast at about 40 PSI to both remove any finish and give a rougher texture and allow proper adhesion. After blasting, use a clean, stiff bristle nylon brush to remove any particles that might adhere to the surface before using TCE on it. Do not use compressed air to blow off grit. Unfiltered compressed air will contaminate your freshly prepared surface. Use TCE to degrease the stock or forend after grit blasting and allow it to air dry. Do not wipe it off. Wood stocks that have oil-based finishes such as tongue oil, true oil, linseed oil, etc. will not accept finishes with lacquer bases or phenol bases such as Alumahide 2 and spray grit. The oil finish acts as a barrier or release agent and the spray-on finish will appear to be proper but can flake or peel off.